We have different departments, but we have a lot of cross uh, cross departmental uh, uh, meetings where we have uh, uh, different disciplines in in uh, representatives from each discipline or each department in in like a story meeting, for example. So so. Um, it, everything feels connected as a result. It's not like the story team is working on the story and then the combat guys are working on this and systems are over there. Like, we're, we're very, very close, so um, everything complements one another. So it would be one thing if he was tearing apart demons, but the story I was telling you felt like some Robert Zemeckis contact thing where he's really concerned about his relationship with his wife and there's something going on there but then like as soon as he's done he tears apart demons for you know 12 hours you're like like that's kind of inconsistent you know right. um, so actually part of his personality because the story is all about this dude who's just one-dimensional is totally focused on killing demons he's this epic badass um, who's been you know it's implied that he's been doing this for a really really long time and then when you play the game and do the combat, it's consistent. It's the same character. You're like, yeah, that's the guy I've been reading about in the Codex. You right. know, it, it, there's, there isn't a difference there. So while our actual narrative moments are pretty small, probably, shit, I don't know, eight minutes worth of narrative, uh, the whole game is building up the character, you know, pretty much as, as you tear through the world. And one thing I thought was interesting, I'll let, then I'll let you jump in, Asif, was that because the Doom guy uh, was so one-dimensional. When he does something quote-unquote out of character, you pay attention. Absolutely. He goes through the whole game, you know, ripping and tearing and smashing, but then at the end when he doesn't, when he saves the object, you're like, oh, you pay attention to that because he's not smashing it. And that lends importance not only to the object, but also to him. I thought it said something about his character. <laughs>